The 2007 Glasgow International Airport attack was a terrorist ramming attack which occurred on Saturday 30 June 2007, at 15.11 BST, when a dark green Jeep Cherokee loaded with propane canisters was driven into the glass doors of the Glasgow International Airport terminal and set ablaze. It was the first terrorist attack to take place in Scotland since the Lockerbie bombing in 1988. The attack occurred three days after the appointment of Scottish MP Gordon Brown as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Security bollards outside the entrance stopped the car from entering the terminal, although the doors were damaged. The car's driver was severely burnt in the ensuing fire and five members of the public were also injured, although none were seriously harmed. Some injuries were sustained by those assisting the police in detaining the occupants. Both of the car occupants were apprehended at the scene, and all those injured were taken to the Royal Alexander Hospital in nearby Paisley. Within three days, Scotland Yard had confirmed that eight people had been taken into custody in connection with this incident and that in London. Police identified the two men as Bilal Abdullah, a British-born Muslim doctor of Iraqi descent working at the Royal Alexandra Hospital, and Kafi Al Ahmed, also known as Khalid Ahmed, an engineer and the driver, who was treated for fatal burns at the same hospital. The newspaper, The Australian, alleges that a suicide note indicated that the two had intended to die in the attack. Kafi Al Ahmed died from his injuries on 2 August. Bilal Abdullah was later found guilty of conspiracy to commit murder and was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum of 32 years. Events A dark green Jeep Cherokee, registration number L808 RDT, traveling at a speed estimated by a witness as about 30 miles per hour struck security bollards in a terror ramming attack at the main entrance to Glasgow International Airport. The vehicle was reported to have several petrol containers and propane gas canisters on board. One eyewitness said flames issued from beneath the car when it hit the building, while another eyewitness said it appeared the driver was trying to drive through the terminal doors. According to reports, the car was occupied by two Asian-looking men. Police indicated the vehicle burst into flames when it was driven at the terminal. An eyewitness noted that a man got out of the car and began to fight with police. Another eyewitness said that the man was throwing punches and repeatedly shouting, Allah. The man was arrested and later identified as Bilal Abdullah, a UK-born doctor of Iraqi descent who was working at the Royal Alexandra Hospital. Another man exited the car and ran into the terminal building while he was on fire and began writhing on the ground. Before being kicked in the testicles by an airport employee, John Smeaton, who was awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal for his heroism, Sky News reported that petrol was spread from containers by the occupants when they got out of the car. During the subsequent investigation propane gas canisters were removed from the car. A Strathclyde police spokesman confirmed the two men in the car were arrested, one of them badly burned. The man was initially taken to Royal Alexandra Hospital in Paisley before being transferred to the intensive care unit at Glasgow Royal Infirmary due to it having a specialist burns unit, where he died on 2 August. The Jeep was removed early on the morning of Sunday 1 July before flights resumed and the airport was partially opened. Hospitals Royal Alexander Hospitals Accident and Emergency Department was evacuated and then closed when a suspected explosive device on the bomber's body was found. Affected patients were taken to the Southern General Hospital and the Western Infirmary. It later emerged the device was not explosive. The second man, Dr. Bilal Abdullah, was initially held at nearby Govan Police Station, one of the UK's high-security police stations with the capability to hold terrorist suspects. He was later transferred to Paddington Green Police Station in London, along with two unnamed suspects. 
after the Lord Advocate Eli Shangiolini gave her consent to a combined prosecution in England under English law. In the aftermath of the attack the airport was evacuated and all flights suspended. Evacuated holidaygoers, including some who were left in aircraft for up to 10 hours after the event, were accommodated overnight in the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre. BAA indicated the airport main terminal reopened for an incoming flight from Ibiza on 1 July 2007 at 7.37, and began handling departures from approximately 900. Number plate automatic number plate recognition technology identified the vehicle of two suspects connected with the Glasgow airport attack on the M6 motorway between junctions 18 and 17 near Holmes Chapel, Cheshire. The police brought the suspects to a slow halt and they were arrested. The BBC stated that the medical doctor arrested was Dr. Muhammad Asher, London car bombs. The police said they believe the attack was linked to the 2007 London car bombs 36 hours before. The vehicle was reported to have contained 60 litres of petrol, gas cylinders, and nails. Scotland Yard reported that while the gas contained in the canisters and the quantity of the canisters remains unknown, further details would be given after they have been analysed by forensic experts. The head of Scotland Yard's Counter-Terrorism Command said, It is obvious that if the device had detonated there could have been serious injury or loss of life, the device could not have detonated, because it lacked an oxidizer, according to a columnist for the register. This information may have originated from an interview of former CIA counter-terrorism officer Larry Johnson, conducted by Keith Olbermann of MSNBC on 29 June. According to Sky News, the gas cylinders contained propane, used for patio heaters. A second bomb was later found in a blue Mercedes-Benz 280E believed to have been left in the same area at around the same time. The illegally parked car received a parking ticket in Coxburgh Street at 2.30. At about 3.30 the car was transported to the Park Lane car pound. Staff left the car in a public area after smelling petrol fumes and alerted police on hearing about the first bomb. U.S. officials told NBC News that three men had been identified and were believed to be from Birmingham. The network reported that one of the three men could be an associate of Duren Barrett, an Indian convert to Islam who was sentenced to life in prison in 2006 for plotting to fill limousines with explosives similar to those found in these incidents and park them in garages beneath hotels and office complexes. Barat also planned to attack five financial landmarks in the United States the New York Stock Exchange and the Citigroup Center in New York City, the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, both in Washington, D.C., and the Prudential Building in Newark, New Jersey. Scotland Yard denied claims from a report by ABC News that police had a crystal clear picture of one suspect from CCTV footage. A 27-year-old doctor from India, Mohammed Hanif, was arrested at Brisbane Airport in Australia on 2 July in connection with the bombings in the UK. He was arrested while trying to board a flight with a one-way ticket to Bangalore, India, apparently to visit his newly born daughter. The arrest followed information received from the UK. As the case against him collapsed, Dr. Hanif was released with all charges dropped. Reporting, the 1st of July on the afternoon of the 1st of July, police carried out a controlled explosion on a car in the car park of the Royal Alexandra Hospital, where one suspect was being treated. The hospital was cordoned off for a time, and ambulances were redirected to other local hospitals. It is not clear if there was another device attached to the second car. Glasgow International Airport began to reopen, with flights from Orlando and Ibiza arriving during the day. By the end of the day, the airport was reported to be operating largely as usual, but passengers continued to be advised to confirm their flights with operators before coming to the airport. 
Tight security precautions remained in force across UK airports, although most flights operated as normal. Five arrests were made. Two in Glasgow, Scotland, two on the M6 motorway in Cheshire, and one in Liverpool. The police searched homes and made inquiries around the country, including in Renfrewshire, Merseyside and Staffordshire, with one suspect identified to still be at large. Sky News reported that two of the arrested men were doctors working in British hospitals. During a press conference Strathclyde police revealed that they believe the two men had been living in Renfrew for at least six weeks prior to the attacks. Questions were raised during the conference concerning whether the USA had, as had been reported in certain circles, published a report predicting that there may be an attack on Glasgow Airport. This was not confirmed and considered as speculation. The 2nd of July police made two further arrests in Paisley in the early hours of the 2nd of July in connection with the attack, bringing the total number of arrests to seven. At least two suspects are thought to be locum physicians reportedly working at the Royal Alexandra Hospital and at a Staffordshire hospital. These hospitals were the subject of police searches. On 2 July 2007, an eighth person was detained in Australia in connection with both the Glasgow and London incidents. Australian news reports indicated that two people in Queensland were detained for questioning. Both were doctors. One, Mohammed Asif Ali, was released after questioning with no charges being brought. The other, Mohammed Hamnif, 27 graduated from the Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences in India in 2002 and entered Australia due to the shortage of doctors in regional hospitals. He was working as a registrar at a Gold Coast hospital and was detained at Brisbane Airport while trying to board a one-way flight to India via Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. His family claimed that Hanif's link to the alleged attackers was tenuous, he was not involved in the plot, and that he was returning to India to see his wife and 10-day-old daughter. India's Deputy High Commissioner to Australia Vinod Kumar was quoted as saying that Hanif had been granted consular access in Australia. On 27 July 2007, all charges against Dr. Hanif were dropped by Magistrate Wendy Cull in the Brisbane Magistrates Court. Prosecutor A.J. McSporran said that there would be no reasonable prospect of a conviction of Dr. Hanif being secured. He told the court that prosecutors had made two mistakes at a bail hearing on 14 July. Police arrested three more men in connection with the failed terror attacks of the past few days on London and Glasgow taking the total number of arrests to eight. Sky News revealed the identity of one of the practicing doctors arrested the next day as Dr. Muhammad Asher, who trained in Jordan before coming to the UK to practice. Police are continuing house raids throughout the country, in Paisley, Merseyside and Staffordshire. One suspect, badly burned after the attack on Glasgow Airport, was receiving treatment at the Royal Alexandra Hospital. The eighth suspect was arrested abroad on 2 July 2007, but police refused to reveal details of the country in which the arrest took place. It was revealed that five of those arrested are qualified doctors, practicing in the UK, three of those in the Royal Alexandra Hospital. The UK's terror threat warning level remained critical, meaning that an attack could be imminent. Heavy security was in evidence at airports and public transport centres with many airports asking passengers not to bring vehicles close to the terminal buildings. That evening, at around 1900 BST, Stansted Airport, Essex, was closed for a short time following the discovery of a suspicious bag. The owner of the bag was arrested while the airport closed its doors, not allowing passengers into or out of it. The BBC reported that by 2035, the airport had been fully reopened.
The owner of the bag remained under arrest, but not for terrorism-related offences. Strathclyde police made an appeal for any details of earlier movements of the Green Jeep Cherokee with registration L808RDT, which was driven into the terminal building at Glasgow International Airport. One allegation was that Dr. Hanif's SIM card had been found in the burning Jeep at Glasgow Airport when, in fact, it had been found in the possession of the brother of a suspect arrested in Liverpool. The second error was that Dr. Hanif had once lived with some of the UK bombing suspects, when in fact he had not. The Australian Labour Party called for an external review of the handling of the Dr. Hanif case by the Office of the Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecutions, Arrests. Dr. Bilal Abdullah, 27, born in England, and moved to Iraq as a child, alleged attacker, arrested immediately at Glasgow International Airport, convicted of conspiracy to murder, and sentenced to life imprisonment. Kafiel Ahmed, a.k.a. Khalid Ahmed, born in India, studying for a Ph.D. in engineering, taken to hospital after the attack and treated for burns over 90% of his body surface, died from his injuries, the 2nd of August 2007. Dr. Muhammad Asher, 26, from Jordan, arrested on the M6 motorway, later found not guilty of conspiracy to murder and conspiracy to cause explosions, currently fighting deportation. Marwadana Asher, 27, from Jordan, wife of Muhammad Asher and arrested with him on the M6 motorway, was later released without charge. Dr. Sabil Ahmed, 26, born in India, arrested in Liverpool, a doctor who works at Halton Hospital in Cheshire, brother of Kafiel Ahmed, Dr. Muhammad Hamnif, 27, from India, detained at Brisbane Airport, Australia and later charged with recklessly supporting a terrorist organisation, charges which have now been dropped currently appealing cancellation of his work visa by the Australian government, second cousin of Kafil and Sabil Ahmed, unnamed 28-year-old Saudi man, arrested in Houston, a Renfrewshire, reported to be a medical student working at Royal Alexandra Hospital, released without charge, unnamed 25-year-old Saudi man, arrested in Houston along with unnamed 28-year-old, also reported to be a medical student at the Rath, released without charge. Medical links The BBC reported that eight people were being questioned, most of whom had worked for the NHS and five of whom were doctors.